27th, 2019, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas finished out that year's term by ruling that partisan gerrymandering was totally fine. And with that, wrapped up by the weekend, he was in full vacation mode. He hopped on a private jet and headed off to Indonesia. Judge Thomas and his wife set off on a nine-day island hopping tour on this super yacht, which comes complete with a staff and a private chef. ProPublica did the math and calculated that had Justice Thomas paid for the trip himself, it would have cost him more than $500,000, which is nearly double a Supreme Court justice's annual salary. But lucky for Justice Thomas, he didn't have to foot the bill because this man did. This is billionaire real estate magnate and Republican mega donor Harlan Crow. He owned the jet and the yacht, and he picked up that very hefty tab. And Justice Thomas didn't tell anyone. He never disclosed it. But justices are required to publicly report all gifts worth more than $415, quote, anything of value that isn't fully reimbursed. Back in 2001, Thomas actually did disclose a gift that this Republican billionaire mega donor, Mr. Harlan Crow, had given him. It was a Bible that used to belong to Frederick Douglass and was valued at $19,000. So clearly, Justice Thomas knows he is supposed to disclose this sort of thing, particularly when it comes to gifts from this guy. Because this isn't the first time Mr. Crow's generosity towards Thomas has been a scandal. Mr. Crow also gave at least half a million dollars to help Justice Thomas's wife, Ginny Thomas, start a conservative lobbying group, a group that then turned around and paid Ginny Thomas a salary of $120,000 and later evolved into Ginny Thomas's current group, which reportedly works with groups directly involved in controversial cases before the Supreme Court. Harlan Crow also gave more than $100,000 to the Yale Law Clarence Thomas Portrait Fund, which is, I don't know, quite a bit of money for a fund that maybe doesn't really need to exist. But today, ProPublica made all of that look like change, chump change, because it wasn't just that one undisclosed $500,000 vacation that ProPublica uncovered. They report that for more than two decades, two decades, Clarence Thomas has accepted luxury trips virtually every year from Mr. Crow without disclosing them.